Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. In today's video, I'm pretty much just going to be sharing a few things that I picked up over the last few months from Amazon. And everything that I'm showing are items that I use on a daily basis and just staple things around my house. And hopefully this can provide some inspiration on just some affordable things that are on Amazon for your home. So for some background, I got married about five months ago and my husband and I moved into our house together for the first time and we both came to our home pretty much starting from scratch when we both moved over here to the south. Thankfully, we were blessed with a lot of things from our wedding registry, but when we first moved in, I was just, I was on Amazon. I actually ended up deleting the Amazon app a couple months ago, and I haven't gotten a lot of things recently just because I needed to take a break. But everything that I'm showing are things that I use on a daily basis and just things that I've picked up from Amazon that I really love. So the first thing are these amber bottles and they actually came in a pack of three and also had a variety of labels that you could put on the bottle. So this one right here, I have dish soap, some lotion. They have a label for conditioner, shampoo, hand soap. You can really choose what labels that you want and fill these bottles up however you want. And I have these everywhere. I have them in the kitchen. I have them in our bathroom. I just really like these. I feel like it makes everything Thing just looks so clean. I also picked up this oven mitt set and I really was just drawn to it because of this checkered pattern. I actually have dish towels that have a similar print that I got from Target. So when I was thinking that I needed some oven mitts, I was looking for something in that same pattern and super happy when I found these. So these actually came with two mittens, but I ended up putting them, I think, in the dryer and it got a little bit shrunken. So that was a good tip for me that I should just hand wash and air dry them. And I have this hung up in my kitchen. I use this all the time if I'm cooking or baking, but then it also looks really nice in my kitchen. <sighs> okay, so when we moved in, we of course needed a knife set and I really was just looking for a knife set that could kind of just blend in nicely in the kitchen. And I also wanted something that was neutral and I found this on Amazon and I just think this is great. It's a Martha Stewart knife set and it just has so many different knives. It also comes with a scissors. And I think this set was around 50 bucks or so. It's again that mix of practical, something that I need, but also something that I actually like the way that it looks too. Whew, let me put this down. So something else that I picked up from Amazon for the home is this ornate arched mirror right behind me. I would carry it over here so you can see it closer, but after carrying those knives, I'm not gonna try to lift that right now. I actually originally had it on my wedding registry, but then I ended up buying it for myself so that I could actually use it at the wedding to do this DIY welcome sign. And I love gold mirrors. I love mirrors that have that antique ornate look to it. So next up, I got this set of ribbed glasses. I feel like this glass is just so pretty. I don't know, it just feels so nice drinking out of this and putting my little straw. It's just, it's just a moment, it's just a moment. And a friend actually got this off of my wedding registry, but then I bought another one for myself. I think it came in a set of six, so now I have 12 of these. I also picked up this dishware set from Amazon, which I really like, and I believe it just came with this bowl, this little saucer plate, and this bowl plate. And it kind of just has this ceramic look with some speckled dots, and then this tan color on the bottom. And I feel like a lot of my kitchen stuff is just white or tan so i kind of just kept with that theme and i will say there was a point where i was looking around my kitchen and i was like there is a lot of cream and tan here and i'm is this am i overdoing it so you'll notice that's kind of a theme with a lot of the things that i picked for my kitchen another thing that i picked up from amazon is a set of these round placemats and i believe they came in a set of eight i think i bought this just from a seller that does them handmade if i remember correctly so i don't know if you can tell on this but it's not a perfect circle so that's just one thing but it's really not a big deal to me it's just something that i noticed so these trays are probably one of my most used thing that I got from Amazon. I literally use these trays every single day. These came in a set of three, but I tend to just use the largest two. I think my husband and I were actually inspired to get these trays because we went to Greece for our honeymoon and every morning they brought us breakfast on these trays. As soon as we got home, we were like, we need to find us some, some trays so we can continue that lifestyle. So another thing that I got from Amazon 
on is my living room rug and I was struggling struggling to find a rug and because we have hardwood floors I was really wanting to get a rug pretty quickly I feel like I looked everywhere and I never was even thinking to try Amazon but I ended up checking on Amazon and I found this rug I just love the pattern of the rug I will say it's not the softest rug of life you're not gonna put your feet in it and feel like you're walking on a cloud but I find that it's comfortable enough and I really just like how it looks in the space so I picked this up for, I guess, practicality reasons. This is a spoon rest, and I use it to just rest my cooking spoons or utensils while I'm cooking. And it's just one of those really little things that made a bit of a difference for me, so I'm glad that I ended up picking this up. I knew that I wanted to display my cooking spoons. I was just having a hard time finding a little jar or something that I can put them in. Then I did find this on Amazon, and I just like the shape of it, to be honest. I thought it was a little bit different. And again, you'll see it's kind of in that white, wooden theme but i like this i think it looks nice on the countertop one thing i don't understand though is why this comes off if you don't want the wooden piece you can just use it like this and then i did see in some pictures i think some people also use this as a flower vase so i guess it could be used for a couple different things and then along with the utensil holder these wooden spoons i got them all off of amazon and they were really affordable too i picked up this joe malone candle and this candle just has this elegance that i love on top of that it does smell really really nice but i have to admit i really more so use it for decoration and the guest bathroom but this is gonna last in the bathroom for a very long time because i don't light it that frequently and i really just wanted something from joe malone so this is this is what i decided to do i didn't want our kitchen counters to get too cluttered so one thing that I got is this paper towel holder that you can stick under your cabinet. And I thought it was perfect because it takes up minimal space. It comes with one of those double-sided command strips. So you just essentially stick it on to the underneath of your cabinet and then your paper towel just hangs down. I installed it in like less than a minute and it's been really sturdy since I put it up those few months ago. And I just thought it was a really good solution to minimizing some counter space clutter. So this pot set is another thing that I picked up up from Amazon. These are non-stick and it comes in a set of two pots and three pans. So they're great. I really like them so far. I like that they are non-stick. I use them pretty much every day and they've been a good starter set for us just moving in and needing some pots. But I do know that we will need to get a few more pots because this one is the largest pot and this is hard when you're trying to cook really big batches. We've done it but I do need a little bit of a bigger, a little bit of a bigger pot. I feel like this set would also be really great for someone who lives in an apartment. I just feel like it's a really nice starting set. I also have these wall hooks and I think these are great. I have them hung around in various places and these come with nails, but then they also come with a sticky command strip. And I feel like this is good if you're hanging something light, but this isn't great if you're using the hook for a piece of clothing. In my closet, I have a few robes hung on this and it always fell when I used it with this so depending on the item you might have to drill a hole I also got a set of these little rain skin dishes and these are great for baking they're good for putting things in small little portions I think they're really cute I've made a variety of things in here you can make moi moi in here I've used them to bake little personal cakes so I just really like them I think they're great just for baking or even serving so these to me are just a staple item I actually got some from my registry I think from crate and barrel but then I ordered another set off of Amazon because I realized that I just use them a lot <laughs> all right guys so that is all for today's video and I hope that you enjoyed this Amazon home haul I do feel like I need to give a disclaimer just speaking from personal experience with hauls and Amazon like I said earlier I had to get rid of my Amazon app because with how they have the one click you can just add things to your cart and it'll be there the next day and it's dangerous and i've just personally been trying to be a little bit more intentional with what i'm getting and how i'm spending my money and i'm not perfect all of the time but it's something that i'm trying to be way more cognizant of so i just felt led to give that little disclaimer that you know perhaps if you see something that you do like maybe add it to your cart but let it sit there for a couple of days see if you actually really want it i have so many things in my amazon cart at this point that i just add if I see it and I like it but then I can kind of sit on it for a while there's some stuff in my cart that I've had for like 
months but i just haven't been in the place to get it yet or haven't wanted to make that purchase yet so i guess that's just a little tip if you're on that journey too but i really do hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and all of that good stuff and i will see you all in the next one